Uh, Estevan Florial is not here yet. He's dealing with some visa issues still. Um, otherwise, um, you know, and just kind of going through and with the trainers and the strength and conditioning guys yesterday at the end of the day, it, having assessed everyone and evaluated where everyone's at physically, um, I'm really, really excited about where we are. Uh, players individually came in where they needed to be. Um, so I, I, I'm genuinely excited about the condition guys are in and uh, where we sit here, you know, four or five days before, uh, you know, we play a spring game. Ben was working out in the outfield. Mm -hmm. uh, is that, I mean, I know we've asked you and Brian about that in the offseason. It seems like the DH is where he's going to stay. Is there any, any change to that? Uh, yeah, I mean, look, we'll we'll – We'll kind of continue to evaluate and see where he's at as as the days unfold, as spring unfolds. We'll have those conversations. I don't want to be completely resigned to him just being full time DH. You know, I think, you know, the more he can continue to stay athletic, um, and 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 be an option on defense. Um, you know, I don't think is out of the question, and, and ultimately it might be something that actually does help him stay more healthy, uh, being able to do that. And, and, you know, we really felt at the very end of last year that he was in position um, to to help us defensively if we needed to, and, and uh, I wouldn't rule that out for, for this season as well. Mm -hmm. Marley Rivera, you have the next question. And Jared said that it's a view of, of the underbelly of what some clubs do and that players are basically tired of it. Mm -hmm. As a former player, what is your take? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a good thing. Uh, I'm fortunate to be in an organization where we don't do that or play that. Um, you know, we, when, when guys are ready or we feel like they're ready to impact the club, um, that's that, and that's how – you know, we treat things around here. You know, if 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 somebody is truly being held down, um, you know, I think that's terrible. Um, now, I, I think there are certain times where it's a little more gray, where you know, a guy's experience and things come into play as part of the conversation. But um, purposefully holding a guy down, um, you know, I don't I don't think should have a place in our game. Brendan Cuddy, you have the next question. Hey, Aaron. Uh, you said you mentioned that how you went to watch uh, the Luis Medina uh, over at second today. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think of him? Uh, I think he was the pitcher of the year in the uh, Puerto Rican Winter League. Mm -hmm. And do you see him as a major league option this year? Um. I wouldn't put anything past it because it's the talent special. Um, you know, he's he's really only pitched at the lower minor league levels, although obviously pitching as well as he did in winter league. And I think the continued development he was able to have last year at the alternative site and just, you know, continuing to get better even when he wasn't able to experience a minor league season. Um, he's somebody that we're very excited about. He's somebody that, that has a ton of talent and I feel like um, has matured a lot um, since I've since I've gotten to see him and know him over this last year so um, you never know what can happen um, this year but he's somebody that we feel like has a bright future and a major league future and we can take a final question from John Schwartz Um, 
Well, I mean, I'd throw the pitchers in that. I mean, in a perfect world, ideally, we 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 want our whole team together all the time. Um, you know, we're not dealing with that right now, and so we're fortunate to have a really good setup between Himes and GMS here, where we can, you know, really, um, I think, service the players in, in a good way to get them ready for for a season. Um, you know, they'll be, you know, we. You know, once you get going with games and stuff, um, these guys start obviously getting together a little bit more. They'll start to interact more when we, you know, start mixing them in and live BPs and uh, different things like that. But, you know, it's one of the challenges we face here in the early days of camp. But I wouldn't just limit that to catchers. I mean, I, I, I put a premium on our pitchers being together with our position players as well. Next question goes to Sweeney Murdy. Aaron, now that everybody's there, is there any plan to set forth for Herman as far as speaking with guys and, and getting that process started? He spoke to the team today. How, uh, how did that work? How did he do it? Um, he spoke to the pitchers and catchers over at Himes this morning um, and then spoke to the position players here this afternoon. I was. Can you give us any sort of uh, feel for what that was about and how it went over? Um, I thought it was uh, impactful, I hope, and I believe that. Um, it was a good step. Um, I think in looking at it, it was something that um, is important to happen, um, and I think gave everyone a chance to kind of get in the room and um, really start that conversation. You know, if there's any conversations to be had individually, which I think have happened, um, but I think it sets the table to continue having those conversations while also. Um, you know, as a team, uh, really coming around and, and trying to smort, support Domingo and um, and helping him moving forward. And, you know, now the I, I think it, the proof is going to be in the um, – in what's ahead, you know, and, and how he is as a teammate and how he is in, in life in general. And hopefully we can all be there to support and help him – become the best version of himself.